Hello world, Mr. Resistor here, continuing our temporarily Omega journey, and back for a part two. I already did my dailies for today, but I have broken my previous rule and trained some Omega skills, particularly planetary interaction. So, God. Command center upgrades, planetology, remote sensing. I think I might want to get planetology up to three also. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply. Skill training completed. And there we are. Okay, so uh I'm going to set up one planet for interaction, and first of all, let's figure out what it is that we want to make. Um, and just to be clear, this is not going to be any kind of like tutorial on how to optimize your planetary industry. Other people have done that. That's not how I do it. Um, Okay. Alright, so this doesn't take any planetary materials. I know that T2 missiles do. I don't have any currently. Alright, so let's see. The variations. Fury is what we care about. Right, so rocket fuel. <clears throat> see if I can remember how to add a pain into the scene here. And, uh, So, hopefully, you're seeing that. Um, Alright, so, rocket fuel. That's what we're looking for. We need electrolytes and plasmoids, which, to get both of those on a single planet, means a storm planet, I believe. That's how I understand these uh, color codings over here. All right, so that means we need a storm 
uh, thing. Let's see. Let's go ahead and put that away. What? Oh, wrong one. Okay. Put that aside for now. And... I think it's a thousand M cubes, so I need the venture or the uh I need the wreath. Storm Command Center. Speed up my journey a little bit. Love drive active.
looking at the rest of the site. It's got some stuff for system, but I'm not really sure how to use it. Presumably this is all the stuff that could be made here. Oh, that's probably from, like, D-scans, maybe? Finding ledger parser? Okay. Well, anyway, this planetary interaction tool is pretty neat, and it replaces... Uh, another one that uh, went offline a while back, so. Um, Eve-webtools.com And, uh, yeah, I like the, uh, I like the design of it. I feel like this might actually be a little bit better than the old one. And, uh, I hope they keep developing tools, because this is a good one. Permission requested. Docking request accepted. <clears throat> All right. So now we head back to Ulbra.
drive active. So, anyway, the point of this is to see if I can set up... I feel like I've talked about this before, maybe, like, even looked it up, but anyway. Set up a planetary interaction, and, uh, see if it can still, like, keep going while I'm alpha. I've got a couple of possibilities, right? I think, like, the most beneficial to me would be that skills are only relevant in setting it up. Once it's going, it'll just go, right? Um, the, uh... I guess next would be it'll go until the current programs run out, and then I won't be able to start new extraction programs. Um, next would be that, plus um, I can't interact with it at all, including like importing and exporting stuff, and uh, I guess the least beneficial would be that as soon as Omega expires, it just shuts down. So I guess we'll see which one it is.
Okay. So we're back in Obra. There we go. Alright, so we've got gas. Gas. Lava. Plasma. Temperate. Ice. Let's see if we can. System checker. Okay. <clears throat> so that's not storm, apparently. Let's see if we can figure out what these actually mean. All right, so. Obra 6 is gas. Okay, that makes sense. Obra 4 is gas, yes. 3, temperate. Okay, and so is 5, I think. Yep. 2, lava, right, makes sense. One plasma. Okay. Seven is ice. Okay, so that blue one is ice. Makes sense, I guess. So, let's see our nearby systems. I think I want to go to Eisstern, so let's see, Alternator, it's got a lot of planets. Okay, so I think these are barren. So gas, barren, gas, barren, I think. All right, how about Fildar? Great gas, barren, okay. John Dick. Nice. Lost. That's a different blue. Got like a greenish blue. And then a more blue. Blue. Alright. On deck. Web drive active.
lost. Gas, plasma, temperate, lava, barren, temperate, lava, barren, oceanic. Okay. I was incorrect. I forgot about oceanic. I know that there is a storm planet within two or three jumps. I just can't remember where it is. So right now we're in Lost. So let's check out our neighbors here. Okay. those aren't barren because I think on barren planets you can do advanced production so maybe I'm all right well that is barren Good. 
Well, now this is starting to get noxious, because like I said, I know that there is one. But how? Let's see. I'm Omega, I can open up my other character who I'm pretty sure is already making rocket fuel. Figure out where he's doing it. Agafee. Agafee 2. So apparently that one. What's that? Darker than the oceanic? I'm trying to see what the difference is. Oh, yeah, okay. Well, all right. I 
Mike it is. Planetary industry is one of those things that's kind of like annoying. It takes a fair amount of, you know, research and planning to set it up. But once it's going, it's, uh, it's free money, basically. And of course, if you're manufacturing anything T2, then you'll definitely want to be doing planetary industry. It'll save you a fair amount of money in the long run. going back here we're making rocket fuel so we need electrolytes and plasmoids which means we're looking for ionic solutions and suspended plasma all right so scan 
looks like Ionic Solutions is going to be the harder one to find, so we'll start there. And these will change uh, over time. Um, so you'll have to be, like, continuously readjusting, um, for optimal extraction. Alright, we also need suspended plasma. Solutions, but strong on the plasma. Let's see. Uh, uh, okay, so like right around here could be good. This is our best spot for ionic solutions. got their set up there, so. together. Extraction. The 
this is going to be Ionic Solutions. If you really want to optimize stuff, you take the lower... Uh, I go for the maximum, because I'm lazy. Alright, that out of our way. That there. I'm just going to make this real simple. Let's track this one. We want to spell it plasma. here. This landing pad has like 10,000 M cubed of storage, so basically we use that as our storage facility instead of actually having a storage facility, and that saves us a bit. Um, All right, so ionic solutions gets processed to electrolytes. We will do that here. Electrolytes install. Send those to there. Uh, Here, uh, for the onyx solutions back to there. All right, so that turned yellow, which means it's good to go. Same over here. Install plasmoids. Around them. Here, suspended plasma, right there, good, alright, submit both of those, so those two are going. Now, pocket, a few more, there it is. Rocket fuel. Install. So now we need to route. Ah, well, okay. First, let's do the product. Create route to here. Now, back to here. Electrolytes. Create route to a factory. And plasmoids. Route to our factory and submit. Uh, if you don't submit, the changes are not finalized, so it won't work. All right. So now we've got a rocket fuel factory, right? This is gonna fill up at some point. Uh, we'll come back tomorrow, I guess, and check on it. Escape to come out of there. And, uh, that's it for now. So we'll head back to 
song defines metal. I don't know about that. I think Judas Priest's Painkiller is the most metal song ever written. Uh, but Iron Maiden actually defines metal. They are the center of the metal universe. And all other types of metal are described in relation to them. That's my theory anyway. But not really familiar with falling in reverse, so maybe I'll have to check that out. Let's see what is going on. Map drive active. <laughs> but if you're into metal, although uh, this is not a serious metal song, but the one I've got stuck in my head right now is Nemophila's Amate Ross. Just a feel-good song with occasional screaming. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. All right. Well, that's going to be it for me for today. So until next time, have a good one.